What's up, guys? Auto Fanatic. I'm going to shoot a quick video. Uh, a lot of guys have been emailing me, asking me for tips on how to power wash and get underneath the spokes and behind the barrels and behind the calipers of high-performance cars with big brakes. Now, the situation is I just got my SG28 gun in my hand. Conventionally, we're all standing up when we're washing our cars, or even if you're sitting down to do your wheels, you're only going to aim straight ahead, okay, with a 40-degree or 25-degree nozzle. Now, unless you're willing to lay down on the floor and get the gun to do this all the way around, okay, that's the only way you're going to really thoroughly rinse, apply wheel cleaner, do whatever you're going to do to your rim and tire uh, complete assembly. So I busted out my, uh, my pivoting pressure washer wand that I used last year in my winter wash videos of my Shelby. If you guys go back to my channel, you may have uh, seen me use that. And I put it away, and I have not pulled it out since. But I'm going to show you guys two specific options. One is about $69. The other one is $12.99. And you can just attach it to your existing pressure washer wand. So let's go over, and I'm going to show you guys right now what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So I got both of the options on the floor in front of the car. So this is the Hyde Pivoting Pressure Washer Wand. So you can see here, it's like uh, looks like it's holding a rifle because it's pretty damn big and heavy. But it has a pivoting tip on the end of it that is controlled by this grip here so as you twist this you can move this tip with the jet stream on the fly 45 degrees up or 45 degrees down okay so that is $69 and you attach it to your SG28 like I show you there now here's my other SG28 with the shorter this is about a 20 about a 22 inch wand that has a little bend in the end now they make these quick disconnects pivoting adapters like I show you here so it's the same thing that's on the hide except it releases with a quick disconnect the quarter inch fitting and you have to manually adjust it on the fly actually not really on the fly because you have to actually stop the pressure stream otherwise you can't do it you'll uh, make a mess so you can stop what you're doing reach over bend it up bend it down and that's it so I'm gonna show you right now using both of them and uh, you guys should consider picking up one of these options if you want to do a better job cleaning your wheels, wheel wells, undercarriage, or whatever. So stay tuned. Let's get set up right now. So we're going to start out with the hide pivoting wand that I'm going to show you guys in the field of view right here. That's just me twisting the grip, and we can do it. Also, I set the crans on a lower PSI just for demonstration purposes because I want to get the camera up close. And here we go. So conventionally, we're shooting down just like this. Unless you're going to bend down and really get under there, you're, you're going to miss. You're going to miss all these spots all down here and behind the caliper. So let's turn the machine on and I'll show you. Okay, so conventionally, this is what you're going to be doing when you're rinsing your wheels off. So now, with this pivoting end, here we go. This is really where it shines down here. This is where you're going to always miss. Down here. So for all, all you guys that have any kind of intricate spoke wheel, this is a must-have. Uh, I put this thing away for a while, and now that I've just pulled it out of my uh, storage closet, I'm going to start using it. So you'll see this stuff in a lot more of my videos coming forward. So let's switch over to the, uh, the standard lance with the adjustable one where you have to manually adjust it, and I'll show you guys that okay, way. Guys. So we switched over to the uh, SG28 with the straight, short lance with a little bend over here, and this is the one where you have to manually adjust it. So, we'll leave it in straight motion.
So that's it, guys. You got a pretty uh, simple demonstration of how both of these units work and how effective they are. Now, I recommend if you're going to go with the cheaper version, that's a quick disconnect here, make sure you have a shorter lance. If you have a longer lance, your arms may not be long enough to actually comfortably switch it on the fly. This one is short enough where I could have the trigger depressed on my SG-28. I could just go like this and adjust it on the fly. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys got a, a little bit of a tip here on how to clean behind your calipers and the spots of the wheels that you're always missing. It actually happens to me all the time. And uh, now I'll start using these in my videos going forward, forward when I'm doing wheels. And uh, you can pick both of these options up at a local Granger. If you guys have a local Granger, go on Granger.com. Uh, you can pretty much find any of the stuff in the catalog and drive out there and pick it up. Also on Amazon, you can pick up either one of these items as well. Uh, the other apparatus by Hyde, they make the 40 inch, which is the one that I have, and they also make a 28 inch. Uh, I'll put the links in the video description below, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and have a great day. Don't forget to visit autofanatic.com and uh, pick up some Auto Fanatic car care, and I'll see you guys on the next video.